Man, these wheels are fucking in bits. Mm -hmm. They're actually in bits, like. <laughs> These are going to replace the Watanabe's on the march. Last week we sanded them and now we've masked them up. We're just doing a quick enough job. It's going to be winter wheels. They look hilarious, masked up. Mask wrap 9000. Yeah. Oh, I nearly worked. What we're doing here, guys, is we're actually just. Uh, Going with a full degree, and uh, we just don't want any imperfections, you know, we don't want any reactions on the wheels. One for putting it on, one for wiping it off, guys. That's how we do it here at Timmy's Body Shop. This is the boring stuff that we don't do. So I sold them to Evan. I just thought they were too plain for the car. I like the look of the wet sports with the white spoke and the polished lip. So I got these for cheap. They're not, the wheels are not in the best of shape. A little bit buckled, a little bit shitty. So they were red. I didn't think the red would match the blue. So we painted the centers white. The Sprint Hard CPs, kind of cool wheel from the 80s, 90s. In the finish. The finish. Yeah. Off the gone, is it, lad? Off the gone finish, lad. Got a new voice for the bench, but uh, <laughs> I put the voice just far enough away that it's not in reaches from the lead. Yeah. So this is uh, the shock out of the march over here, and it's snapped. It's actually like held on by nothing. That's all it's held on. There, <laughs> there. Like. Oh, this is rusty. That's right, it's in there now. Uh, what way is this? Find, find another one now. There and there. The rest was rusty. Yeah. <laughs> so the shock snapped on the car. We were only talking about these last week where we dickied them up. Dick now, now they're Dick broke. This is a uh, version two. Josh done a better job than a. Uh, I call him a little Japanese man. But he's just a normal average. Japanese but he's probably just an average height. Fixed! Ta-da! So the wheels are finished. We're peeling off. See the epic reveal of the rough wheel. Just need to polish the lip now. It's a bit rough. But sure, they're grand. Yeah. Aiden brought his 8.6 back to the shed and uh, here we go. <laughs> you would this. not have guessed this. The Hunt for Red October starring Sean Connery on Nez Cartridge from 1991. <laughs> Just randomly in the back of his 8.6. No, that's what I call music. No, 13. From what year? 88. <laughs> I guess they're all period. They're all period correct to the car. Just having Sean Connery on Nintendo cartridges after blowing my mind. Last night, we saw these. We were taking off the masking tape and we've painted them over the last couple of days. These are the sprint hearts that are going to be the replacement wheel, daily wheel on the K11. So, what I've been doing is. They're actually pretty badly sanded, so we're giving them a rough polish. Use some Autosol, and we used 800, 1000, 1500, and 2000 grit sandpaper. And we're doing it a pretty ghetto way by jacking up the car and putting it in first gear. It's probably not the best way to be doing this stuff. I'm just going to show you how dodgy this setup is. Got a 
a, a stick holding the, the diff on one side. <laughs> we don't even have a, a jack in work anymore, so we had to lift it up with the forklift. So. Alright, all right. well, we're checking the wheels for buckles, and uh, yeah, they're pretty fucked. They're oh, pretty yeah. badly buckled. So I don't know if these are actually going to be any good on the car, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, yeah, probably isn't the best way to be doing this. The hand could get sucked into the wheel. I sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Man, these wheels are fucking in bits. Mm -hmm. They're actually in bits, like. Jesus Christ. An auto saw. Chuck a bit of that on the wheel. And just like that, it's nice and shiny. That definitely looks a hundred times better than the black. In my opinion, the black is cool, but it's too plain for this car. Do I look okay? Like? Yeah, it's good. Obviously, you've seen this in the background in some of the videos, but uh, Josh sold everything. Sold all everything. Your, yeah, he sold all his uh, drift project. He's building an E36, which you've probably seen by now in the videos. And he decided to start fresh. He was pissed off, so he bought this E30. And uh, yeah, this is going to be your this daily. Is this is going to be your everything. One car to do it all. Josh likes German cars. Yeah. We also like German cars, but Josh really, really loves Josh German cars. Really. Somehow, surrounded by all this stuff, he loves this, so I have to... Some of you must admire that. I think it's great. It's the iconic BMW. Iconic BMW. Yeah, what's your plans for this? We'll get her going. M3, motor, E36. Not the American version, because they're shit. S50. And uh, some Japanese-style wheels. Yeah. Cage seats. Gotcha. We have a bright seat ready to go in right yeah. now. Yeah, so it's actually buffing, trying to bring some life back into the paint. Yeah, it's got a couple of mismatched panels, but uh, yeah, hasn't been hasn't been taken care of in a long time. It's gonna be cool. We need to have one person that's doing stuff with German cars. What it, what engine does it have now? That we get pop the hood. Pop the hood. Backwards. So it's already. Wired for E36. E36. M52. M52. Two liter E36. I don't know anything about BMWs. <laughs> so uh, that was just shoehorned in there for okay. the track. And the reason why you bought this car because this was the one is because it's already wired and ready to go to yeah. accept another E36 it's got the right engine. Parts, some mounts. Yes. Exhaust manifold. So. Five overs. She's got coilovers. And you bought is Jack Shields. Yes. Engine, the one from his drift car, which is this car here. So. Yeah. <laughs> so that should be fun. Yeah, there's purple stuff here. That's what makes it. They're a funky engine, they just sit sideways. Yeah. I definitely love everything pre-99? I don't know, the E46 is nice, 99, but... 99, yeah. No, E36. Yeah, but I like up as far as E46s. No, E46s. I like E46s. I like E46s. No. Well, you're shit. Well, so. fuck you. <laughs> when you think of BMWs, you think of boxy, angular vehicles. It's one of the last BMWs with a dipstick, so. Yeah, well, there you go then. That's all you need. You daily a 1 Series without a dipstick. I don't anymore. It broke down. Did it break down? <laughs> and BMWs are super reliable. I'm happy Josh. Josh was getting pissed off with his, his other build, so he decided to just start fresh and have a road car that he can use as a skid car. You're essentially building a like a high competition spec drift car for no reason. No. Because you're never going to really use that. I don't know. I wanted to test myself. Yeah, to see how far you could push yourself with the welding and the skills. And then uh, I got pissed off. Then you got pissed off. Well, it's nice to have something like this. This is like your version. It's like the German 86. C West. Is that before they actually call us a C West and they call us a C Westin? Flips out, kind of lightly restoring a GC8 Impreza for somebody. It's got a bunch of really cool. C Weston. Yeah, it's got a full kit. Full C West kit. Oh, I, I've never seen one. No, ever. neither have I. There it is. Yeah, it's, it's nice. This car has been knocking around for years and uh, it's cool to see it getting the love. Most, most Impreza's that came to Ireland usually get built into like the rally look. Mm. And uh, yeah, they're mostly mimic like, you know, Colin McRae's car, which is pretty understandable, but this is one of the only Impreza's that we've ever seen that has a, an aftermarket Japanese kit that's actually survived here in Ireland. It's currently in a... Yeah, I put a version C 
6 fighter. Is it version 6? Oh yeah. Nice. We only arrived from England cool. the other day. Oh yeah. Deadly. It's got a nice out of pocket. Oh, that's going to be serious. Why you not finish me? Mind that. We're just too easily distracted by stuff. I have a gun. <laughs> so that's great. That's a 14 inch long champ. One of the ones off my car, which is just, looks fucking amazing on it. I get yeah. it. So, all of us have been uh, pretty big fans of Japanese wheels on German cars. So, that's kind of the style that Josh is gonna go for. He's gonna be meeting halfway a fusion of We're Japanese and amalgamate. German. Yeah, man, it's gonna be fucking awesome. It's the first time we've had a car on the road in in three and a half years. Three and a half years. That's actually something interesting. Yeah. Yeah. She looks great with a bit of a polish. She has come to life. They're very, very white. Fish eye doesn't really show it. But uh, these wheels were actually on this car, which we will do a video on soon. Yeah, they got a bad dent seven years ago. That's a long time ago. Like a 10J minus. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Yeah, they'll fit. Get the over fenders. Make your own flares, buddy. Yeah. Get a bit of cardboard there. Yeah, we're just gonna make a flare here. Board oh, over fenders. Wow, this is a great look. Oh. 